boys and girls, welcome to Kevin's Corner. I'm Kevin, and this is my corner. <laughs> we do lots of fun things here on Kevin's Corner, and I'm really glad you're here. Today we're going to talk about rhyming. And then, Candy's going to recite a nursery rhyme. I've asked Steve from Kids News to explain to us just what a rhyme is. Let's welcome Steve with our Kevin's Corner cheer. Kevin's Corner, Kevin's Corner, woo! Thanks, Calvin and boys and girls. That certainly made me feel welcome. And I am happy to explain what a rhyme is. When two words have the same sound, we say they rhyme. Here are some examples. Fun, run, sun. Or toy, boy, joy. Or how about girl, squirrel, twirl. You might even find words that rhyme with your name. For example, my name is Steve. Words that rhyme with Steve are leave, eve, and sleeve. When I put these words into a sentence, it gives the sentences rhythm. And voila, I have written a poem. Listen to this. My name is Steve, and on Christmas Eve, I peeped out from under my pajama sleeve and waited to see what Santa would leave. Ha <laughs> ha, you can try with your name. Calvin, can you write a poem using your name? I will try, Steve. I will think about it while Candy reads us today's nursery rhyme. Candy, are you ready? I certainly am, but first, here's a rhyme using my name. My name is Candy. I have a friend named Andy. He went to the beach and got his feet all sandy. <laughs> today's nursery rhyme is about a girl named Mary. Mary had a pet, but it wasn't a dog or a cat. Her pet was a lamb. Do you know what sound a lamb makes? Lambs and sheep go... Bah! Bah! So every time I say the word lamb in this nursery rhyme, I want you to say bah! Bah! You think you can do that? Okay, great, because here we go. Mary had a little lamb. Bah! By Sarah Josepha Hale. Mary had a little lamb. Bah! Its face was white as snow. Wait a minute, Candy. The lamb had fleas, and they were white. I never had, I mean... I've never seen white fleas. I only had, uh, I've only seen blackish brown fleas. I agree. Fleas are not white. If a flea was white, it would be an albino flea, because that would mean the flea has skin without pigment. Come on, guys, cut it out. Not fleas, fleece. The fleece was white as snow. Fleece is the wool furry covering on the sheep. I'll begin again. <coughs> Mary had a little lamb. Bah. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb bah. was sure to go. Wow, that could be a problem for Mary. Most restaurants and stores don't allow animals. How could you go to a movie with a lamb? Before the movie starts, they tell you to silence your cell phones. I guess they could tell you to silence your lambs, too. Ha <laughs> ha! Get it, Steve? Silence your lamb? I do get it, Kelvin. That was very funny. I agree, but may I continue? Mary had a little lamb. Bah! Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb bah. was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, which was against the rule. See what I tell you. <laughs> it made the children laugh and play to see a lamb bah. at school. And so the teacher turned it out. But it still lingered near and waited patiently about till Mary did appear. I've heard of being meek as a lamb. But not as patient as a lamb. I wonder what the lamb did while he waited for Mary all day. It probably grazed on grass outside the school. Or maybe it put itself to sleep by counting sheep. <laughs> and in conclusion, why does the lamb bah. love Mary so? The eager children cry. Why? Mary loves the lamb. Bah. You know, the teacher did reply. That's it. The lamb loves Mary because Mary loves the lamb. And that's why it follows her everywhere. I love my goldfish, and my goldfish loves me. But it's smart enough to know it cannot follow me everywhere. Boys and girls, this nursery rhyme has been turned into a song. At the conclusion of today's show, you will see it, performed by some of our Calvin's Corner and Kids News friends without interruption. But before we hear the song, I would like to recite a poem that I have written using my name. <clears throat> my name is Calvin, and Calvin's Corner is done. So go out and run. And play in the sun and have some fun. I think my poem won. Thanks a ton. <laughs> Until next time.
Kevin's Corner, Kevin's Corner, woohoo! <laughs> See you next time!